One of the biggest mistakes we make as we're getting older is not paying attention to our health. I've made this mistake in the past and I've decided to do something different as I'm getting older. You know, last year I ended up in the hospital, um, was told that I had severe anemia. Um, I wasn't eating right. I wasn't doing a lot of things I was supposed to do. And so I decided to make a change and now I just turned 40 this year. And so this year, one of the biggest things for me is I've realized that my body is changing. Um, certain foods that I used to eat, I can't eat them anymore. Like I just, my body reacts weird to them, you know, and if anybody's in their 40s watching this, you know what I'm talking about, our late 30s, um, maybe you've experienced this, maybe you haven't yet, I don't know. Um, but mine started when I was 39, a year before I turned 40 this month in April 2022. And so I can't drink milk anymore. And milk was something I super, super love. I love milk. I love it. I love a cold glass of milk with some ice in it. I really, really love that. And so I realized when I drink milk, all of a sudden I get super bloated and I feel uncomfortable in my own body. And so, you know, I had to cut out milk and I love milk, but I realized that, you know, I never thought much about lactose. I really did not. And so I bought ice cream um, from Briars has a vanilla ice cream that says lactose free. Um, so that's the ice cream I eat. And I realized when I eat that, I don't get the bloatiness. I don't feel uncomfortable. None of that stuff happens. And then when I eat certain sugars and certain things, um, my body reacts to that and I feel so uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable sleeping and all that stuff. You know, so I asked God, I'm like, God, I need you to show me what are some of the foods that I need to cut out of my diet. And so instead of using sugar, when I make my teas or anything, because I love sweet tea. If you're somebody who you love your tea to be sweet, I'm one of those people. I love sweet things. I have a sweet tooth. I love sweet food. So... I had this agave, um, bottle of agave in my cupboard and I've, I've used it in baking, um, but I've never really used it to sweeten my tea. So one day I was in the kitchen and I felt to just use the agave to try it in my tea. And so I tried it in my tea and guys, it tastes almost the same as putting regular sugar in your tea. So now I use my agave sweetener for everything I need to be sweet and it's amazing. I don't get the feeling, the uncomfortableness in my body like I normally would when I use sugar. So I'm excited for that. So I'm doing that with a lot of different foods, cutting out certain things out of my diet. Um, I've intermittent fast for a very long time. I've done this for years and cut back a little bit and now I decided to go back. And so I started with a four day fast, 24 hours, and my body like felt so much better. So I decided to do an intermittent fasting um, every day for between 16 to 20 hours. I seem to be in a lot of the 20 hours or 21 hours. And then around like 6, 37, I wouldn't eat anymore. But I go all the way till 1, sometime 3 p.m. And that's when, you know, I start eating. And what I realized, I don't eat as much as I used to. As soon as I start eating, I start to become a little full like I get full and I'm, I'm drinking more water and I realize that as my body is changing I need to know how to take care of my body as I get older because it's something we normally don't pay attention to when we're young when we're young we just eat anything and we do anything but I would urge every single person not to make these mistakes take time if you're in your 30s early 30s mid 30s whatever late 20s start looking at those things you can do differently to help yourself because we're all aging, we're all getting older, and it's something we need to care about is our body, and we need to start real early. So when we get in our 40s and 50s, we kind of know what our body needs and how to take care of it. So that would be my advice to everybody. Don't make that big mistake. Um, I caught myself early on because I just turned 40 and I'm super excited about that. And so I, my goal is to do everything, try to find all the foods that I can eat to feel comfortable. And as my body is, is telling me something, I need to react to it and do what it's saying to keep myself healthy and also feeling good. Because there's a feeling you get when you're healthy. You feel energetic, you feel light, you feel really, really good. So do some research, see what works for you, um, know your body. Everybody's body does not 
react the same way to everything it doesn't but all foods have new foods food not all foods but foods have nutrients in it that our body needs there's certain thing everybody's body we do need that but everybody will react differently to different types of food and i've realized that milk is one of mine i can't have too much milk anymore so yeah for those of you who are lactose intolerant comment below let me know some of the foods you've bought or brands i would love to try them out to kind of know what i can eat because i realized that hey the thing that i thought was like what is this lactose intolerant all of a sudden i can't drink milk as I get older and I love things if there's substitutes um, that I could try out I would love to try please comment below and let me know and once again guys thank you for joining TJ just talk um, don't have an intro don't know if I'm ever gonna have an intro for my videos I just jump right into it um, but thank you guys I appreciate you guys stopping by and hearing me out on my channel have a great day guys